improvisation. Mm-hmm. Oh, we over here. No, it's mm-hmm. like, ooh, we are mummy. Mm-hmm. You know what the song means? Mm-mm. What does it mean? In the jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Well, the lion is the nigga. Okay. The black man. Mm-hmm. Y'all are down here. You're in the jungle and the lion sleeps tonight. But when he wakes up. It's the one that cracked it. Like, it's like, enjoy yourself because the mm-hmm. lion sleeps tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That don't mean he's, he, he's not dead. Right. He's, he's just, just asleep. asleep. Yeah. Letting you know. Letting mm. you know. They ripped him off, man. I think they get a friend of 250 down. So did they get it? That's what they that's all they got for the They got 250,000 to split amongst three sisters. Wow. wow. We talking about a song that has yeah. been recorded by so I mean yeah. It's been on everything. Commercials. Friends, commercials. Mm-hmm. Disney's the biggest. Yeah. It's worldwide. The right. lawyers. Only get it live. What they sing? A version of that in uh, Lion King. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Lion, Lion King alone. The movie and then the production, the stage production, the uh, the Broadway production mm-hmm. alone. That's is horrible. billions. Those That's two alone are billions. We're not even talking about on Friends, on the commercials, on right. Every, and since everyone. since what? What, when Since he re- he wrote it in 1939. There we go. All right. So from 1939, some country banjo playing folk singer. Yeah. He re-recorded. Yeah, I saw that because part. Because it. it was folk, it fell under a certain clause that they could use it and adapt it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's when the cat, the Weissman cat, the Jewish dude, took it. And that's when he said he rewrote it and someone else said they rewrote it. And these fools actually went into to battle in the court over it in the 80s. Like, over who wrote, rewrote it. And none like, of them did. Oh, none of them. Rewrote. Right. So they, this family, this one guy, this South African white dude who was real blunt. I give him his props because he was like the most honest person on the show. Other than mm-hmm. The sisters got ripped off. He said, look, the only reason I'm doing this is because of guilt mm. he's one of the, his family is one of the originators of South Africa the Afrikaans wow. mm-hmm. and he, he said I grew up my whole life wanting to be black out of guilt like I could not believe that I was a part of this right. establishment that came in here and raped these people mm-hmm. and I have to do right I, I want to do right Yeah, you know and that was his motivation he writes for Rolling Stone so he wrote this whole thing Talking about you know how the injustice was done and all of this, and it you know they um they just basically just ripped him the fuck off. So and he but you know he and in getting it he went and had to get one of the top lawyers. The lawyer was like, "Yo, we got to go against Disney, and my firm has to pull out. We can't. It's a conflict of interest. Too much money." So. Another lawyer who didn't have the conflict of interest, who was a good lawyer, said, you know what? Went to the government of South Africa and said, hey, this song is of South Africa. South Africans made this song. This is our country's song. This is us. So the government was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. We will give you the money and we will put a hold on all these brands that Disney owns, all these copyrights to force them. Excellent. You think... But. Yeah, they took that and they won with that. But then when it came time for the payout, it was an undisclosed amount. They could, they had a gag order. They couldn't say how much it was for. And then they put the money that they won into a trust so that the sisters could get it. And then it went on, and it would take a certain amount of years before the trust came to them. And they blame all of this on language barriers oh, and not understanding. Oh, so horrible. you finally find out after all of this that the trust they was talking about was for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars off something yeah. like they, they they that ain't even the popcorn from Lion's King. Right, right, right. It's not. It's not. Damn. Grimy boy, grimy. Very. And then you try to say that, the, that they they were paid and they drank it away and they 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 squandered the money you know. Oh. Motherfucker, you right then it's like okay, motherfucker, they were supposed to get paid so much fucking money that it's impossible for them to squander it. Right. That's how much is due the, to them. To, due to them, right? That's. 
Oh, stuff like that just makes. And it's just ready. Like, but it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. We're not gonna pay you for it. We stole it. I tell you, my grandpa. Like, he exactly. Did that, he was like, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. They wanted to buy it for like a nominal amount, and he was like, no, I'm gonna let you buy it for less. But I want 25 percent of whatever you develop. Wow. And that's how my grandmother and mother and they had, got, they had to get it. That's the better deal that my family got. My family got straight up, ran up off their property. Oh yeah. yeah whoever they found that was on that was an original family member, they hung them, oh, lynched them, took it completely over because my great great grandmother oh. married a, uh, a white man who was her slave owner's brother, right? Mm-hmm. So they said, oh, how they made that is like, oh, we'll see, it's illegal for a black woman white man to get married in a church it's illegal so because it was illegal you don't own none of this This get get up out of here if we catch you we're killing you and they got it to this day yeah yeah that's just boy and it don't matter though because us saying we own it is a slap in the face to the native americans Mm, yeah then again we were here anyway more and more you know that yeah more and more evidence is proving it uh, yeah, there were some black people brought here from Africa, but not a lot. Mm-hmm. It was already here, mm-hmm. indigenous to here. They yeah. just found this skull. Where was this? Let me see this. Uh, hold on. Where is this skull? They just found this skull. A skull that was indigenous to North America that supersedes any skull they ever found here. And when they put that shit back together, you know, they do the reconstruction. Mm-hmm. They put that shit back and it was Shaquanda. Mm-hmm. Like, what up, dog? Well, we just watched that movie, uh, The Sapphires, which oh. which deals with the uh, Australi- Australian Aborigines. And, yeah, yeah. And, it's a re- and it's about the singing group that they end up <laughs> going on tour in Vietnam. But one of the things that they pointed out was like, because you know they were trying to, to separate the blacks, yeah. the light-skinned blacks and dark-skinned blacks or whatever, and they call them the blacks. Yeah. Um, they would go in, they put them on reservations, okay, like. Yeah, that's to get. And then they would go in if there were any light-skinned kids, like they would any- just roll up at any time, and the children would have to go hide because if there were any light-skinned kids, they took the light-skinned kids from the parents to give them to white families so that they could be raised as white and then and thus the goal is to try to wipe out all of the blacks by right. taking right. and so they literally they would call say, them creamer they call the light skinned kids creamers uh-huh those days calling me over there yeah creamer. yeah a creamer. yeah yeah creamer. and they would yeah they, half black and half white a creamer and a so creamer, that kid huh? gets brainwashed Cream, you know you and you know it, it's so but the movie is good it was based on Real four sisters, and um, they, you know, they obviously took some poetic license with the story, but the women all did end up going back to um, Australia to fight for the rights of the indigenous people and became doctors, and they became successful. But it was just like you just go, man, you motherfuckers are just. Yeah. What did Linda say? Like, no matter where you're from, if you are that color, you are. Fucked. Oh yeah. It was, yeah. It was and what? On, like. Yeah. This will be and it's it's like you can't be us, so you it messes. <laughs> that's what you hate. You can't be us. And well, I mean, well, for you, most people of color, you know, we tend to be like, hey, what's going on? What do you need? You know? Right. And then it's like, let's hate, you know, yeah. and because you know, you hate us because you can't be you us. At, we're always like, what can we do to help you? What do you need to survive? You know. And we've always been like that. Nathan, you know? Nathan. Need you to get your motherfucking <laughs> transparent right. skin ass on that boat and get the fuck up out of here. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 You, you light blue motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga, I can see your veins. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Translucent. <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy, though. And Whitey is still on the moon. And Whitey is still yeah. on the moon. What? Man. I know. I moon. got some white fans that be watching. Like, well, this isn't what I expected, free. <laughs> no, you give you give equally. So I, I, I mean, people, like man. you know, I'm not, I'm, right? Again, I, and I, you you you. Man, you I just got to talk about what the you fuck. You call I it know, and you, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. This shit be. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Hey, yeah. and, be, and be honest, most of my white friends be, they already know what time it is and they be riding with the truth. They right. like, mm -hmm. right. exactly. Which is what makes them fresh. Which is right. exactly. Right. Otherwise, you're right. right. Otherwise, they would be fresh. That's real. They For real shit. and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and white is on the moon. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, hey, man, you got to understand, the Moors, the who are black, some bad motherfuckers, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They was chopping niggas up. Oh, you don't want to wash your ass? Oh, you getting chopped up. Nigga. Ain't nobody going to be telling you every day to wash your ass. <laughs> I told you right. once. Be civilized. We told you once we chopping your ass up. <laughs> you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Let me come up in this motherfucking house again. You live in a house, not a barn, motherfucker. A barn, right. A house. Clean this motherfucker up. If this house is dirty one more time, I'm chopping you up. Chopping up. <laughs> so that's why they was like, we got to get rid of these more motherfuckers. <laughs> All this using forks and this higher education <laughs> shit. I like living in the cave. <laughs> Gnawing on bones. That was a great life. Oh my goodness. Who wants to be civilized? So they get rid of the more. That's crazy. Thus making the word black, making it something negative. Right. That's what the oh. word came from. Boy, I guess. Uh, oh. Anyway, anyway. All right, so are we dive? Let's are do this. Are? Let's dive in. Where we're rolling, I believe. And we're on. What up, okay. everybody? Hey, what's up? Welcome to Freeze Talks. Uh, I am your host, comedian Freeze Love, and we have our co-host, Miss Linda Denton, Hamlin Denton. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to point out the Mad Laughers. What? Yes, <laughs> Laugher, Mad Laugher and Laugher's Apprentice. And also, fellas, uh, we've had, a, I noticed in the comments, a lot of people notice you guys have been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, I did notice that. You like, noticed that, right? They said they're trying to get, you know, they're Freeze talking talk. a lot more. Freeze talk. Right, right, right. right. Ah, ah, ah. We don't even hear you. They're okay? talking. They pointed out how they don't hear you because you're not mic'd. Uh, right. Now, they're, you stick to laughing. So anything you want to convey, I suggest you figure out some kind of little signal where you can talk and laugh. <laughs> tell, tell you it, Polly. Talk through your laughing. You tell know? it, right. Like a good, if you want to add something, say, <laughs> <laughs> You know, like start low and then go high, and I'll be all right. okay. Because they start yeah. interjecting. Stories. Yeah, they start. And it sounds like somebody on the other side of the freeway yelling. <laughs> and then tell them about the Obama ship. <laughs> See, they face ain't out here, though. They can make a hell of a point but piss somebody off, but I'm going to catch it. You're going to catch it. They won't know it's them unless they happen to hear these motherfuckers laughing somewhere. Right. There you right. Hey, right. I heard that giggle. That's the mad laugher. I'm going to get on the chat room. Yeah, oh. yeah, I agree. No, you guys all, you, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> the laughers. Laughers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Emoji. <laughs> right. Start blaming crimes on the mad laughers. Right. Who robbed the bank? They came in laughing. I know exactly who they were. I know where to find them, too. I'm freeze Oh, my God. There we go. Um, okay, so... One of our missions this week, we're at, we have got at 12,570 subscribers. We want more. Man, please. Thank more. you for everyone who has yes. subscribed. A lot, all of y'all have, have, have all are right tweeted they everything. Are I appreciate y'all like a motherfucker. Yes. All my 5150 fans, yes. people from 5150, from Zoe What, from Mansions, from my man uh, Josh O'Brien's show that came on and, and peeped us. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, and hey, tell your friends, because we're, we're growing, it's because of you, we're thankful, but we're trying to pump it up. We're about yes. to, to you know, add a few more things, yes. a few more skit stuff, um, some more guests mm -hmm. we got coming, but you know, the guests, a lot of people want to be on, and they tell me they want to be on, and I want them on, but at the same time, we're, we're, we're growing, we're new, we're mm -hmm. trying to fill our... Our we're way here, we're, 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 we're doing yeah. what comes natural. Yes. And, you know, a lot of times people, they say they want to be on the show, and then you realize, oh, wait a minute, this motherfucker thinks I'm going to kiss his ass <laughs> to, to be, be on, on the, the show. show. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't the weed man, nigga. <laughs> Only weed man will get a, yes, please come. That's it, nigga. Whoever else, you come, right. you come. Great. Yeah. And to those that came, my man, man, Corey Holcomb, yes. One Love, Zoe Williams, yes. Miles, uh, Dewan B. Yeah. Uh, so we've only had, what, three guests, right? I guess so, huh? So some people that I want to get on the show that don't necessarily have a name. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel they're interesting people. Yeah. And I think that's so what it's about, interesting that's people. What, that's what, you know, our thing is not, we're not just getting somebody because you got a name. Not mm-hmm. own, right. man, if you got a name and you on everything and you, I just know you're doing a run, that's mm-hmm. cool. I still right. may give, give you some quick love, but I'm seeking out people that y'all may not know. But I feel you need to know, mm-hmm. or just interesting people, man. Yeah, you sharing know, so. stories, sharing experiences, yeah. and all of that. So I agree. So Indeed. like, subscribe, spread the word. Like, subscribe, spread the word. Spread the word. Um, <laughs> what? What? Thunderbird. Oh, he's talking. It's like. <laughs> 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 yeah. You see how he does that? Oh, you know, a laughers union. Yeah, they're probably they've probably yeah, started already, the already seen it coming. They created. You go to their meetings. Ha 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 <laughs> but it's just the two of them. Right, but they gonna get more. <laughs> yeah, we already, hey, we already it. said. Right. Okay, okay. I already got one dude that already said. Man, Saint Nick Guru, what up, homeboy? Saint Nick Guru said he'll put up some racks to be on the show. Well, where is just it? Just to sit. Oh, okay. I'm like, yo, right? He gonna take Come your on. money like that? But um, <laughs> the show might. But <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but on the real, we gotta, we want to open it up. We're gonna start bringing some people. Yeah, just, but I mean, we're rolling we with praise. it. We make it. We're, we're making it work and love it. Yeah, and, um, fun, man. Yeah. Yes. So one of the things that we've been asking people to do is to share a traumatic experience in the, um, and we do it to help other people. And, and right. help them in, stay encouraged and inspired and that, you know, wherever you are now, it may feel like it's the worst of the worst, but you will. Taking a, a positive act, I mean, a, a negative right. un, a circumstance and spinning it, mm-hmm. putting it in a positive, right. you know, putting it out there in a positive note right to, to just change it, change that, stop it, you know, yeah. put an end to it. So mm-hmm. thank you to everyone that just shared these stories yeah. because Amen. you you a lot of I hope you realize you released it through here and the people feel it we feel it yes and it helps us it makes me stop and think it makes me pump my brakes count my blessings yeah. smell the roses sit that we're supposed to do mm-hmm. and your testimonies have have you know I hope you realize we're we're thankful. And that you are brave people. You know, that's some, we've had some serious stuff. Right. So we have a pick two for today. Um, and one is, and this is kind of something that we hear, I'm sure we've all heard it before, but the impact of a situation like this is, is still devastating nonetheless. So this person said, my wife got pregnant by, my, um, by her ex-boyfriend while I was out of town. Mm. So, that's a... Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> yeah. well, what about him, too? <laughs> I mean, so, that's a, you know, but funky now... Funky ass nigga and a funky ass bitch. But yeah, so hopefully... Now I said it for you. Yeah, there you go. But hopefully, <laughs> this person has been able to move past it and... You know, and let me tell you, man. Grow from it in, in whatever you. way they could. It takes a big motherfucking yeah. man. Yeah. To raise someone else's child, right? You know, it, it takes a big man. That's that's the the dude that can do that, and there's plenty to do. Mm-hmm. I salute you like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I do because what's important is that baby, that soul, that little soul is here now. You you don't need to resent it. You don't need to hate her. Hey, it went down how it went down. For whatever reason, you were in the mix. Now, if you're going to be up there mad and hating somebody, man, step on, man. Go. You don't have to. That's a that's a good. That's, for me, that's a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> just is it going to work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't nobody say shit to me. Right, right, right. exactly. Like, yo, this motherfucker broke trust like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Where, you know, I, where do you go nobody, from there? Where you, where hey, do you where do you go? There? Shit, you go to, to, to being a straight hoe. Oh, like, fuck all these hoes. I'm fucking all you bitches, mm-hmm. and I'm leaving you where I find you. Right. You know? Yeah. You may be yeah. like that. You'll run right. like that for a while and realize that's some whack shit, too. Yeah. So I don't, you know, if you if you bounce on that, 
I can't, I cannot blame you. I yeah. ain't mad at you. Now, if you stay on that, bro, you gotta, you gotta put it behind you. You're right. Don't You're worry right. about it. Don't worry about this motherfucker looks like my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. Yo, don't yeah. worry about that though. That's that but, kind of shit that'll be you facing. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to laugh at shit like that because you gotta be bigger than that. Do you think you could do it? I don't know. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't even want to be challenged like that because <laughs> right. I don't know. Uh, yeah. That might be the way. That might be the one thing that make me go to the pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That might be. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even want to test that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to meet a woman. Who has children by someone else mm -hmm. and raise them as yours? That's something. Yeah. I would applaud men and women that do that. Right. But when someone, you know, because see, here's the thing. See, we can say all of this shit is all oh, you crazy, you crazy. But think of how many niggas had a baby with, out of out of out of a marriage, mm -hmm. and and everyone expects that woman to stay. Yeah. Of course. Right. Yeah, of course. You see, you said it's a, it's right. A, of they, course. They do. They so do. I'm saying, man, look. If you do stay, man, and hey, you you could be king in that motherfucker too for a minute. <laughs> you said you could be <laughs> well, hold on, what, what you mean my dinner ain't ready? Right. Is the other niggas baby dinner? Ready? Uh huh. Yeah, bitch. You don't want to bring up my dinner not being ready. You could wallow it. You could be the man. Like, you, you could bring that, that up all the all day. <laughs> you could do that too. There's a number of ways, and she really can't say shit because. It went down that way. Mm -hmm. She opened that door for that. Right. But again, there's a but. You gotta be G about it. If you if you make the agreement, look. You can't. I'm with you. This baby ain't mine. If some to me some foul shit that, that happened, but evidently because I, I'm gonna be here, I ain't going no motherfucking where. I said the good, the bad, the ugly. I said till death do his part. I'm gonna ride it out like that. There's plenty of people do that. Yeah. Ride it out like that. No matter what. I mean, you got to look, man. There's people that have been married out here, man, 70 years and shit like that. Yeah. You think that shit was sweet? For 70 years. 70 right? years? <laughs> nah. You talking about being with somebody for the rest of your life? That is not going to be easy. Right? No. That's not going to be... That's, that's, that's a... Man, hey, I've been with my wife 16 years now. We're in mm -hmm. our 16th year. Right. Not 16 completed, 16th together. Yeah. Now, I'm I'm here for the long haul. I was sitting here fucking no, I've already put too much into it. This is going to work. <laughs> yeah, right. That's my Now, point. if she went out and had a baby with someone else, I'd be like, God damn. Well, fuck it then. It's another paper route in this bitch. Because right. your little ass can go to work too, nigga. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, you... I don't know though. I don't. Mm. That, again, again, I don't know. Right. I can't say. But that, all yeah. I'm saying is, you made the choice to do it. So be wear it proud. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed of it. Yes. Don't be ashamed. You ain't no sucker. None of that. You are you G because you standing on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I always say. It's not a thing of what should I do. The the everyone the group says do I this. Should, right. A few said no. Do what you want to do and stand on it you got to stand on it that's right. the only way it'll work if you do it and you're reluctant or you are uh, not reluctant but um mm -hmm. you're um what's the word are you re reticent or not, you're going back and forth what wa uh wavering not wavering just you know you um you're resentful oh resentful mm -hmm. if you do it and you're resentful then don't do it Right. Cause that ain't gonna yeah. be cool. That, you ain't helping shit. Yeah, right. Just, just you gotta do what you gotta do then, cause you can't do it, cause you'll be resentful. Mm -hmm. Right. If you can do it, the only way to do it is not be resentful. Do it wholeheartedly. Right. Embrace. But that it. has to be constant work, because even if you you start out here saying yes, I'm in, I'm not resentful. You know, in a year you could be. So hey, then man, you gotta work through. Out. You gotta yeah. work through that. I mean, yeah, so it's it's, it's, it's the heavy the heavy shit. lifting is is going to be cons constant. And you know, not only not only for the next two years. We're talking about when this kid yes, grows sir. up, You're right? Right. And then somebody says, "Well, you know what? I want to be a part of." It. No, 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 no. Mm. You see, it's all kind of yes loopholes. This shit that can go down. Yes, absolutely. But. I, I just would say on a man. I, I pray for you. You sound like you, 
you you said you're going to do it, and I'm you got prayers here, yeah, and a, and a salute and mm. respect, right? That's real. That's that's you. Mm -hmm. I, I you made that commitment, and I honor that, homie. Well, I don't whatever know if the is. if he committed to staying. You don't did. know. Well, we don't know. We I'm don't just know. saying. It, it but is. whatever whatever choice he made, you know, I, obviously is one that could be respected based I, on the circumstances. I would just say, life is Unless not about crazy. living, being resentful to anyone. Right. Yeah. Right. You you're mm -hmm. shitting on yourself. <laughs> it ain't worth it. You know, right. I, hate and resent and all of that. That's like, like my nigga Charlie used to say, man, hate. Envy, jealousy, resent, all of that is like shitting on yourself. It's true. Yes, it's warm. It's warm while you're sitting in it. It's nice. It's warm. But you keep sitting in it, you don't even realize. You smell like shit. Because you're used to it, nigga. Right. You're sitting in it, while we need it. You, this shit is warm. This hate is comfortable. This resent is lovely. Nigga, that's bullshit. You'll be sitting in shit. Right. So yeah. if you do and it, like man, shit. go forward. Don't worry about how the baby got it. The baby's oh, here. Right. And you're the father because you're there. Mm -hmm. So the baby's going to need somebody to look up to. Yeah. You know, hey, man, you don't have to. You know, sometimes the spirit connection is way stronger than the physical. Mm -hmm. And more important. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so, okay, so the other one is someone said they were in a rollover accident. The car rolled over seven times, and their girlfriend was driving. Apparently, the girlfriend was drunk, and in the car was the guy's daughter and the girlfriend's <coughs> three daughters and the dog. Um, and they rolled over seven times, and when he got pulled out, he was covered in blood, and he thought, I guess, that he had been severely injured. But fortunately for him, he didn't have a scratch on him, Everybody else got taken to the hospital, and they were okay. And he said even the dog was okay. So I fucking train that dog. <laughs> I train that dog to fucking nut up on that bitch that was driving as soon as he sees it. I have a picture of that bitch, a life-size picture. And I'm like, sick, sick, And I pour alcohol over the picture. <laughs> Let the dog, so the dog, as soon as the dog smells alcohol and sees her, it's going to fuck her up. <laughs> oh, you dizzy bitch. Oh, my bitch. God. I know. Drunk that, driving. Drunk driving. All with that kids. drunk driving shit, man. Mm. I ain't with it. Yeah, yeah no. no. I ain't no. with it. I don't never. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yep. Right. And I'm not going to front. I've done it. Oh, I've yeah. done it. Mm -hmm. I, when I was a young, stupid motherfucker. Right. Because when you're young, you're stupid. Right. Stupid than right. a motherfucker. And the worst part about your stupidity is <laughs> everyone around you is stupid because yeah. they're yeah. young. Yeah. So they be saying stupid. She's like, fuck it, dude. The cops aren't going to catch you. It isn't about the cops catching, catching you. you. Right. It isn't about you even making it home safe, motherfucker. It's the other people. Because the worst thing to me yes. mm -hmm. than me making it home safe is me making it home safe knowing I killed and took someone else's family right. off this planet because I was drunk. That's way harder to live with. You don't want to put yourself mm -hmm. in that predicament. You don't want to yeah. go through life with that. And oftentimes it's the drunk driver that survives. Right. Because they drunk and they don't even know they dead when they dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you mean I'm dead? <laughs> they hiccup, he's alive. <laughs> they don't even know. He's back. <laughs> Fucking, right, yeah. You know? And, and, and I know this, someone else's and life this is motherfucker is you know, I'm sure the drunk motherfucker is guilty, feels guilt. You don't feel shit. Everybody made it safe, including the dog. Mm -hmm. You probably out there doubling it up now. I, no, I can drink with me. I can wreck in everything. <laughs> I Give hope me not. my keys. I hope not. All them kind of people. Right. Yo, yes. I, yo. That's drunk driving shit. Boy. It's crazy. They should have like a 800 number that you could call when somebody's drunk. Don't they? No, 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 no. They have wanted to like take the key. Now, they should have like an 800 number to someone to call and like six, seven ex comics and show up and beat <laughs> yeah. the shit out of whoever's <laughs> just like, whoop their ass. Right, right, right. Just show up and beat the dog oh, shit out of them. Yeah. They drunk. It don't matter. Right. It's like this. They was going to wreck anyway. Yeah. They was going to be fucked up anyway. Oh, yeah. So right. give it to them. Yeah. Give it to him. Give it to him. That would be great. Motherfucker. Oh, like, Fuck be... you, bitch. I can die. <laughs> as soon as I find my key. 
And then all of a sudden, seven, eight motherfuckers show up. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, right. These your keys right here. <laughs> hey, hey, I need them to drive. <laughs> wop, 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 wop. <laughs> Wrap your ass up around your own bumper, nigga. Your yeah. own bumper. Your own bumper. Right. Okay, so there is a situation where it's, it's okay, everybody has a bucket list item. Bucket list item, and, and one of the uh, bucket list items for a lot of people is climbing to the top of Mount Everest. Ugh. Okay, so um, there is a situation going on right now where um, all these people are climbing to the summit, and you get to the summit, and then I guess there's another trail that takes you up to the top. To the tip tip. So first of all, the shocker is when you get to the summit, you find out that there one there are huge crowds of people, and heaps of trash, like oh. heaps of trash from the people who have camped at that summit right. before they take that final trek up to the top. So then there's that. Then and we'll show the picture. There is a long. Did you send this to Ray? Yeah. 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 There is a long ass line of people from the summit climb Mount Everest. And and yeah. yes. And so. In order to take that final trek up, you've got to strip off everything you can except for your oxygen tank, your compression tank, and all of that. But you, you can't take a lot of stuff. There, were pe- there have been 11 deaths of people. Literally, the people going up the trail have stepped over the dead body. I wish they would have tripped over <laughs> the dead bodies and died themselves. Like- <laughs> Fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> Climbed Mount Everest. <laughs> Nigga, I'm not impressed because you'll climb Mount Everest, but you won't spend a week in the projects. Right. Fuck you, nigga. You want some thrill? Yeah. Huh. Bring your ass to the go to the motherfucking go go to any projects in whatever state you traveled from, whatever right. country you traveled from, go there and set up shop and say, I'm gonna live here for a year. Now that's some thrill seeking. Right. That's right. some adventure. Right. And it's going to benefit you. Right. You're going to grow from that. All of this, my bucket list is to live on Mount Everest. You fucking moron. Be original, bitch. You know what right. I mean, motherfucker? But you ain't done shit. What's crazy is, though, so you it's a thousand feet from the base camp to the top. And once pe- there were people in a line, they were tethered on, you know, a rope. But it's like... People are running out of oxygen trying to get to the top, and then they can't get back down because other people won't get out of their way. That's that. It's Good. just it's Black <laughs> Friday on Mount Everest. <laughs> All of them. Let them go. Perish. I hope you perish. I hope a big gust of wind oh scoops your God. silly ass up off there. Black Friday on Mount. Black Friday. <laughs> Look at the line. Yes. You what do- the fuck yes. is like the DMV? <laughs> You got the fucking DMV. Yes. Top of Everest. yes. Oh, that's the that's, and look, and that's here's the last what I thousand know. feet. Here's what I know. Right. Not one nigga amongst us. Yeah. <laughs> I said the Sherpa that's leading Sher- on is like. Hey, make your money to the Sherpas. I ain't mad, homie, but you know right now y'all got way too much and money. The body right. there, the pick the body. They have the body circled. That's there's a body on the side that that. Oh, hanging over the cliff. Yes, it was. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, wait, hold on. Son of a fuck. I'm gonna climb Everest, man. You are not doing shit. I'm not impressed. We are not impressed with no, your it's, stupidness, it's really, man. But it, and again, it just shows. Go the lack feed of... some people. Won't you, do, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my motherfucking. I, you know, I, I bucket list. I don't. I don't. I don't even really. I've done a lot, yo. Right. I can't complain about shit. Right. I just wanted my bucket list is to tour to go on some more trips with my wife. There you go. And my kids and my whole family. That I, that's some fun shit. I, I hear some you. rich people shit. Some will. It's Will Smith type shit. Right. We're all gonna go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. on. Grab yeah. your hat, Jerry. <laughs> Josh. Skipper. Come on. Piper. Come on. Get your bag. Oh. Come on. We're all going. <laughs> that shit ain't never happened. I don't know. I don't know one black family in real life. I don't know any black family where the whole motherfucking family went. And I don't mean like a mom, dad, and two kids. And I ain't talking about well, that. What went to? To any motherfucking where. Oh. Like okay. on a far <laughs> ass. <laughs> oh, you mean the fact that like, they take like all their family trips. About, right, right, yeah, right. They, oh, we've had yeah. families <laughs> meet place. No. Yeah. Take that back. Oh. I have met one motherfucker. Eddie Murphy. 
He takes I his mean, entire family yeah, hell, everywhere. Took, well, no, not always, but oh. when when I oh, bumped into him and, and he he was with his family, he was taking his kids on islands. Mm -hmm. It was going. I was that was cool to me. Yeah, I was like, man, that's some damn. Yeah, Will. Will's doing I wish the damn more thing. motherfucking. Will and family are doing the damn. Yeah, thing. Will and they doing it. Do that, man. If you you know because you learn something traveling to go there, yeah. but but yeah. don't go to no motherfucking. Don't take your family to Mount Everest. Like no, a pack it's, of dummies. it's really. I mean, and you have like a, the thrill seekers and everybody who just want you know, but so they're not preparing properly. Right. They don't. They haven't. You motherfuckers watch three, four episodes of Bear Grylls. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you think you can go do that yeah. shit? Yeah. And your punk ass yeah. gets stuck out there. I tell you what, all you motherfuckers that want to go motherfucking uh to Mount Everest, I want you to watch this movie called The Deliverance. <laughs> okay. Start right there, motherfucker. You think about that shit. You're out there in motherfucking Mount Everest. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Square like a pig. Yeah. Didn't the guy get killed? Man, they all, all of them up. You mean, Billy's tore their ass up, man. They said, no, he's talking about deliverance. He's talking about Mount Everest. Um, <laughs> Literally, <laughs> one of <them laughs> Billy's tore their asses up, boy. <laughs> Make your ass go to the motherfucking yeah. Dodger Ooh, game shit. or something in the city, nigga. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the Yankees game. Right. Center Bronx. Right, it's right here. Right. Yeah, basically, this is, this is just a lot of inexperienced people up there taking yeah, selfies. Because you motherfuckers yeah. been, um, yeah, you Ooh. motherfuckers be, be too much into this Instagram. You see one of your friends mm -hmm. and you yeah. think that's you. You stupid motherfucker. That nigga was in a green screen. <laughs> right here in Burbank. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. You, everybody trying to do what the next motherfucker does, right. but nobody wants to do what the next motherfucker does. Mm -hmm. Next motherfucker's struggling, baby. Yeah. Why don't you go struggle with somebody, man? You want an experience? If you're wealthy as fuck, mm -hmm. this is what I suggest. This is what I'm going to set up. Okay. Called Broke Ass Tours. Broke ass tour. Yeah, a tour where you take a motherfucker who's wealthy, nigga. Look here, I'm, I'm, you gonna come to the motherfucking hood. We're gonna go in several hoods mm -hmm. for a month. Okay. And we're gonna learn little hood shit. Okay. Simple shit like what to do with top ramen. Okay. You know how to how to how to ride the train for free. <laughs> shit like this. How to get extension on your bill. Right. How to how to how to deal with people that you can't stand, but you got to deal with them because they got the key to the motherfucking to the top room that right. you got to get into because that's where you'll stand. Right. All that shit. Right. All that kind of shit you got to deal right. with in the hood because motherfuckers in the hood are ingenious. Ingenious. You cannot. Yeah, I've seen some spectacular shit, and it's uh, the 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 mother of invention is necessity. Necessity, yeah, yeah. it's the mother of invention. You understand? Invention. Hood right. is constantly inventing fly shit. Constantly. Constantly. And and culture comes a calling. Culture comes a calling. So I'm just saying, I'm gonna set up some tours. I'm gonna do this, you guys. What I'm telling you, man. Look, for the low low price of 250 G's. Yeah. That includes all meals, everything. The low, low price. Yeah, the low, low price. I'm talking about motherfuckers who's so rich, you know you'll never experience what I'm going to take you on. Right. You'll never experience you'll it. You'll never. You don't know what it's like to ride in the back of a 6 4 Impala on things. On things. On things. You don't know what it's like to ride in the back of a 6 4 Impala on things, holding things, <laughs> moving things. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for okay. things. <laughs> All right. Everything I said makes absolute complete yeah. sense yeah. to those that know. Yeah. Come on down. I'll show you, baby. Yeah. Show you what color to wear, wear. Wear, wear. To wear, wear. Wear, wear, wear. It's an experience that you will never, ever get. Unless you fuck with someone like me. Right. I'm connected everywhere. We'll go everywhere. I got friends everywhere. Mm -hmm. Every hood. I got all kind of friends. Mm -hmm. Killers. And they're my friends, though. I'll what? show you to you, man. You can go. You know, now you're going to sign a disclaimer. <laughs> and a waiver. And a waiver, and a waiver right. And a waiver. Because right. you are going to get your head whooped. Just so, <laughs> so you feel what it's like. Just a little bit. <laughs> so for a month, huh? Month. We got extended ones. We could do a whole motherfucking summer. Hey, the summer is when you really want to come. 
Christ. Man, what's, what's 50 Cent's line? It's summer. It's the killing season. It's hot the motherfucker. That's yeah. enough reason. Yeah. You need to experience that yeah. shit. Summer is fucked up in Brooklyn, man. Yeah. Like, you really be, Chicago. like, looking around. In Chicago and Detroit and L.A., you be on alert because yeah. you can catch a stray. Yes. Yeah. Now, that's excitement. You won't catch that on the top of Everest. <laughs> Oh, you just get knocked off. You just be in line. Right, you we can put you in line at the swap meet. Uh, right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. We got lines. There's lines. You can buy everything that's in your packet Ooh, that swap yeah. meet, too, right. nigga. Right. What That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, that's a crazy situation. You used to Everest. see that line on Mount Everest. It's like, damn. People what? just so they can sit. And it's just so they can post it. And go back to the little raggedy yeah, ass bullshit right. ass cubicle yeah. and post it all up there. Right. Well, you know, I went to Everest this summer. Yeah. You stupid <laughs> motherfucker. Right. Right. Bitch, you haven't been to motherfucking Whittier. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna go to Everest? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but then the other thing that they were saying that was really standing out was just the lack of humanity from, of from human to human. Because yeah. people a need water or people need not, help in any way. It's like, whatever. They just want to yeah. be at Everest. Yeah. 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 They just want to talk don't, shit. And stepping over their Some bodies. Some motherfuckers out there because they thinking that's going to get them pussy. Yeah. Nigga climbing Everest ain't going to get you pussy. Right. Being a man, walking up to her, looking at her eyes, telling her what's up. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, hey, check this out. It's a broom closet over there, miss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down if you're... You gotta be a man. Don't right. be a punk. Everest ain't gonna get you that. You can be right. up in that mo... <laughs> <laughs> Stepping over dead mo... <laughs> As you're running out of oxygen right. and nobody wants to get out of your way to help you get and back. I hope I hope those serpents go through the pockets of those motherfuckers <laughs> they do. every they night. You that, goddamn right. They do. They said serpents. theft, of, theft of that base camp is huge too. So oh yeah, the serpents is clocking. Oh yeah, you want to go Because they got to take way. everything off to go to Oh do yeah, it. we walk you all halfway. <laughs> then you on your own. <laughs> okay, we know. We no fucking with you. Keep it top. It's a white man. Yeah, you. Go tip it top. <laughs> you. Go all the way. Keep it climbing. Keep it climbing. You can do it. You can do it, Peggy. You can do it. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job, Josh. Listen, uh, I'm going to go back to base camp. Yeah, I come see you in about a week. I come get your money. <laughs> yeah, oh, I leave soon for you. Oh, my God. Niggas is up there. Serpents is clocking. Yeah, oh absolutely. Oh, you, new hiker. All right. <laughs> Big yes. adventure, yeah, bucket yes. risk. This is your bucket risk. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be a great hike. <laughs> Do you have a tennis shoe? Do you, you have on tennis shoe? <laughs> oh, tennis shoe not going to work. <laughs> However, I have a timberin. All size, you have to buy timberin. Yeah, I get for you. <laughs> I bought on Canal Street for oh. you. <laughs> you need backpack. <laughs> no good. This backpack no good. But they have to take them off anyway. Yeah, you have to take off. You get new backpack <laughs> on the top of the hill. Up there. Five dollar more. <laughs> buy now cheap for you. You're going to have to buy water and air. I'm going to have to buy air. Yeah, they have to buy air. All the way up there. You're going to need more air. You have to go talk to my cousin. <laughs> Tommy. Go ask for Tommy. He's going to give you a discount if you got a ticket from me. Oh. <laughs> you know that ticket, air going to cost a lot of money. You need grow stick, too. <laughs> when you eat yeah, grow stick, when you snap it, eat it grow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> that way, St. Bernard can find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a Kojo. Kojo, I'm gonna find you. If you don't have a girl stick, he don't can find. <laughs> you gonna please. You please to them. You please. Oh, it's very cold. Very cold. You need five, seven more top Roman too. <laughs> seven. 
Robin boy. Hot chocolate. <laughs> cocoa. You like a cocoa? Hot chocolate. Yeah, we have that. Oh, ten dollar. Ten dollar. A oh, Swiss Miss. Oh shit. The Swiss Miss. A ten dollar. Yeah, yeah. It's the best hot chocolate. Uh, Make you feel warm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Could you imagine though, if you waited hours in line, you almost at the top of that thousand feet, and you realize you're running out of oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> you waving that ticket, <laughs> Tommy? <laughs> Tommy? <laughs> Tommy? There's some guy up here. This is supposed to take my hair. His name's Tommy. Tommy? Oh, that's no, no, little Tommy. Stupid! Yeah, stupid! Oh, uh, he from Wisconsin. <laughs> he tell me he can handle cold. <laughs> he calling for Tommy. No, I hear him. I put a lady or so I go to his pocket later. <laughs> Laughing at his ass. He looking for Tommy. I hear him. Shh, shh, listen. Listen, listen. Tommy. See? You hear him calling. Oh, it's not Tommy. No, it's not Tommy. Fuck him. I met him in parking lot. He pulled in front of me. He in front of me. Call me dumb gentleman. Fuck him. You know, broaden our horizons and, you know, they hook got up with that them spot. Dude. Right. And, and boy. If I want to win a count, I don't know that thing. Right. Uh, and, okay. But <laughs> now all the <coughs> Wrangler loyalists right. are apparently up in arms because they, they're they sending out uh, tweets like, won't be buying any more at Wrangler jeans. I thought this was the gene for the Western lifestyle, not a That's sellout, right. not a sellout to a no-name rapper. Um, I just think it's a disgrace to Wranglers and country music. Um, one user uh, commented it, and you know, it's like a Wrangler is like, miss Wrangler's me. Like, look um, here, look here. Now, now hold on, skate keeping shirt on. Now hold on, I know you're upset. I know you. I know you, I know you, Emma, <laughs> Billy Ray, Teddy. I know all of you been wearing Wranglers hell. Some of you since you wore Wranglers didn't even have pampers. You jump right in the Wranglers. <laughs> yes, right. You had the, the little snaps on your onesie, little Wrangler onesie. Now, now listen. <laughs> what y'all have to understand is I got two letters to tell y'all. J Z. Now, now I know. Now shut up, Roy. You owe me money, goddamn it! I don't give a damn whether you're not. You wear a Wrangler anyway. You fucking drunk. But I'm gonna tell you what, Jay Z. Can y'all say billionaire? I don't think none of you could even spell it. If you got amongst you, you ain't got. Listen, I don't give a damn if none of you. I'm trying to get that black market. I'm trying to make me some Wrangler hoodies. <laughs> trying to make me some goddamn Wrangler uh, starter caps and jackets and Wrangler. I'm gonna yep. fuck y'all. You see, let's let's get down to the nitty gritty, Skeeter. You, you, buy, how many pair of Wranglers do you own right now? One. You goddamn right. You wear those son of the bitches. You buy one pair of fucking Wranglers a year. Every Christmas you get a new pair of Wranglers. And your big ass wife. And we're tired of, you know, how many fucking size extra fucking extra 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 large jeans we ordered for your wife that she still ain't picked up. For your wife to have a pair of Wranglers, that's seven pair of Wranglers. For your wife. I don't give a damn if none of y'all buy Wranglers, wow. man. Hell with you. Now, this here color boy, I mean, this here rapper. We're going up, we're, we're competing with Gucci. We're competing with Louie. 
we're competing with that. We're when you get the black market, brother. It's bigger than the black market. You get it? I don't give a damn. Hell yeah, I'm trying to fucking get some uh, fucking Wrangler trap house going, man. I don't give a damn what any of you say. Next question. Well, what about? Will you still be sponsoring the Grand Ole Opry? Not if I can do the Soul Train Awards. Next question. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Let's be clear. You cheap sons of bitches. You poor white people are the worst. You won't buy nothing. You'll fucking save for a rainy day. These here colors, they buy. They don't give a damn. They got two fucking dollars. They gonna spend it. And I'm trying to put Wrangler in that mix, brother. Goddamn right. No problem. Fuck. Well, yeah, basically that's what they said. They said they're, they're West, um, our, our Western heritage and offering a quality and versatile product for all wearers will always be the very heart of our brand. All wearers. All wearers. That's all right. Wearers. God damn it. Black <laughs> Lives Matter and Wrangler. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm right, man. I'm trying to get, man, I'm. Man, I, I got this one little Mexican fella down there that says he's going to sew all kind of designs on the sides of the ring. Sure fire, because that's what they like. They like designs and sparkly shit yeah. and zippers and yeah. buckles and hooks and shit. And I, I look at him, buttons in his seat. The Wrangler is just like a, like kind of like a blueprint. Blueprint Levi. Oh, excuse me. I say that. Fuck. <laughs> Goddamn. Wrangler. And see, I don't even say that boy. Because he's, let's be honest, he's a Jew boy. Oh, Levi? <laughs> Levi, God damn it, I go again. That's a Jew boy. That's a Jew boy gene right there. Oh. Yeah, you think of that. Oh. See, black self support the Jews, you see. Right. That's why they all love them jeans. I ain't going to say their name. Mm -hmm. But they love them. Have it starched, creased, flipped up. Gang bang out, and then the goddamn Mexicans too. Yeah, they like they they those sons of bitches. They buy five or seven pairs. They're all too big a sizes. So I, <laughs> I want that market, man. Right. Goddamn right. They're gonna follow suit once the blacks start doing it. All of them are gonna do exactly. it. All even the goddamn Armenians. But isn't they'll that, be wearing Wrangler. Isn't that crazy though? How it's like I want to protest you. Bringing on a sponsor that's going to make you money you as a something. company. That is the you most got to understand, man. Boy. Racist motherfuckers are unbelievable. Are, you motherfuckers are desperate. You reaching for shit. You making calls. Mm. The internet is exposing so much shit. Boy. And here's the thing. Chat. Less. See, this is, this is the illusion that you have to understand. Less shit is going <clears> on <throat> now. Less. I know. I've been here a minute. Talk to people that have been here a minute. This that less is going on. More is highlighted. Yeah. We can highlight it. But brother, when there wasn't no phones, mm -hmm. when there wasn't no good lighting, <laughs> when yo, it was a different world. You the fuckery that went on. Right. It's less. Don't don't be illusion. Don't be scared and thinking that the world is coming to an end. This shit is so no no no. It's just being more and more and more exposed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yo, and it could be flipped anyway. You can't let this outside shit. You gotta know. You gotta know who you are. You gotta. You can't be afraid to meet people. You can't because right. you don't know who. You don't know where your blessings are gonna come from. You right. you gotta think wise, motherfucker. Right. Don't be nudged into thinking away mm -hmm. think you've lived and those of you that haven't lived uh, hey motherfucker try to get with somebody that has lived and see how they do it yeah. and pay right. attention and don't knock right. a motherfucker you know you can learn something from everybody but you, you know what? I just had a thought what if Wrangler created the whole controversy themselves <laughs> you know which you could have totally done that like to, to let me tell to, you Wrangler probably did <laughs> And that Wrangler voice that I did earlier, that's the spokesman. <laughs> right. Now let's take a fucking ride into the warehouse at Wrangler. <laughs> All right, look here. Simple as this. We got 5,000 fucking yardage of fucking denim, right? Mm -hmm. right. No one's buying this shit anymore. Dump this shit. <laughs> dump it, dump it, dump it. 
I don't care. I don't want no. I'm not selling no more. We we'll get Mickey. Come here. Yeah. Get rid of this fucking hillbilly material. Get it out of here. We're taking a loss. Fuck it. You mean the Wrangler? Of course. I mean the fucking Wrangler. Fuck the Cowboys. Put all the fucking shit back on the truck. See, you don't know who what it is behind it. Yeah. Somebody's doing it to make it. This is an economy. Whatever right. you hear, they want you to hear, motherfucker. You right. didn't hear it by chance. Oh my gosh, look what this happened. They want you to hear. That's what happened last week. They're releasing it now, though. Because mm -hmm. they need it now to nudge the economy this right. way or that way or exactly. this way. You're being manipulated every way. Don't trip. Get you some way. motherfucking uh, cookies. No, and cookies. Medicaid, motherfucker. Medicaid. I got cookies. We've got cookies today. Got cookies. Cookies is love. Girl Scout cookies. So okay, it's, we're, 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 we are recording on Memorial Day. Yes, it is we're Memorial veteran. Day. Yes, yes. Right. Don't I got a veteran? That I left my you veteran. You did. Right it's right. Here. It's right. Right. Throw there. my shit on, man. Oh. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. There you go. So Yo. what I want to know is, you know, there's always a big thing about, you know, when you see a service member, someone will say thank you for your service. I've said it before. But what I want to know is there are people who apparently don't appreciate that being said, and they just wanted to know what your thought is. They, say why? they feel like it's just kind of like a throwaway phrase. So it's just like, Man. it's just become very um, cliche. So well, look, right. first of all, let me explain to y'all. I purchased this hat. This is my motherfucking uh, 6 and 502nd Infantry Berlin Brigade E5 star. And I got all of this. Not because I'm like super proud. Yeah, okay, I'm proud. But I got this motherfucker so I can smoke weed wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> I throw this motherfucker on. Yes. Uh, huh? Pardon me? What'd you say? <laughs> Officer? <laughs> you know I need this. Yeah, yeah. You know I need this. Yeah. You did you know why, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you, you this is a good thing to do. Right. Like, right. Smoke up, pal. Right, right. Let's get out of here for something to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody fuck with veterans. Right. <laughs> Gang bangers don't fuck with me. Gang bangers like, thank you for your service, homie. <laughs> thank you, homie. Shit. <laughs> for not messing with me. <coughs> Wait, so does it, do you, does it bother you? No, nah, it don't bother me because I already know this is going to be something when I throw this motherfucker on. Mm -hmm. A lot of my Latin friends be scared. Like, <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, like, this, this ain't ice. Right, right. But right, right, right. I know they can't take no chances. <laughs> right. They ain't taking no chances. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't blame them. No. Oh, fuck Ooh. you see this? They be like, oh, fuck me. Come, come, come. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, shit, you on the right? I ain't one, but yeah. fuck it. Motherfucker, I got to smoke a J right now in this parking lot, and I don't yeah. want nobody fucking Fuck with, with you. Right. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Yeah. This is in the medication. Oh. And they know why. Right. <laughs> you hear something? Right, right. You hear something? <laughs> Wait, okay, wait, I, I just have a totally what? random thought, totally what? random thought. Have you ever heard Siri say, fuck it? Siri? What? If you, it, uh, Siri. Siri on the phone. Uh -huh. Right, okay, so wait. I think it texts me something. Oh, where they was right? Where they were. Where she says it. Okay, wait. We're in the car. Siri, say, fuck it. I don't fuck with that Siri Say bitch. fuck it, Siri. <coughs> That's a nosy little attitude. The bitch has an attitude. Okay, so you have to send it. She won't say it. You have to send yeah, a text message. No, you have to send it. It works in the car. Like, if you send a text message and uh -huh. it has fuck it in it, like, whatever you say, she'll it'll read right. it back to you. But she put such emphasis on fuck it. We were just oh, like, we, we were like, Siri. Said, fuck it at the end and Siri repeated it. And she like paused. <laughs> and she's fuck like, it. fuck it. And we were like, oh my God. Hey, but that was the way I typed it too. Yes, <laughs> it, it totally took that whole emotion. I was like, oh uh, my God. I was talking to that bitch <laughs> when I first had my phone, right? Uh, uh, it was fun. It was cool. Then I realized, wait a minute, this bitch is a little smart alley. Right, right. <laughs> Say, uh, yeah, take me to the Academy Theater. 
Hey, bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? <laughs> you, Siri. I don't think I want to help you today. Right, right. <laughs> you said. Bitch, I'll slam your ass to the fucking ground, you fucking phone. That would be, nice. that would be great. Right. Then you could go meet with the fucking <laughs> genius bar fucks. <laughs> Fuck Siri. I was like, I, I, changed, I, changed, I changed that shit to sound like, they said shit. See, that's why I'm not impressed, Apple. You got Siri, then you got a choice of a man. Should be all kind of choices. Right, well, you right. can do man, male voices. You should do like. Like a well, motherfucker like accent. Buster Rhymes. You should be able to do Buster Rhymes. I bet you could. Make a left turn at the left signal. I think you can do that on Android phones. Like Making the U-turn now. Well, why? Well, let me look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> Some shit of whoever's voice you want. Yeah. You know, I my voice. Shit, it should be freeze like. Make a left here, homie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, homeboy. Hey, nigga, pay attention to the road. You swerving. Right, right. Don't get us pulled over, homie. Blaze it up. The coast is clear. Like, have some kind of radar. I like that. Blaze it up. The coast is clear for the next eight miles. That should help. I like it. I like that. Freeze. What's the weed smoking conditions? Hold that, motherfucker. It's a roadblock coming up. <laughs> Tuck it under your nuts, nigga, till we get <laughs> oh. eight miles. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. <clears throat> That's good. Okay, so do you have a health tip? Yes. Forest bathing. Forest bathing, bathing. as in bathing in the forest? Yes, not necessarily washing your body or stripping naked or nothing. Mm-hmm. But good getting, name. look it up. Look forest at bathing. Forest bathing. Uh, just basically putting yourself immersed in nature. Oh, okay. So this is this is to the where healing. you can't see man-made shit. Where's nothing that's man-made around. And look, I know this just sounds difficult. It may be difficult for some people, but hey, I already know in Brooklyn, there's parts in Prospect Park you could get to where you, I don't care. You looking at 360, you're not seeing nothing but nature. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and in Central Park, there's parts in maybe a little less in Central Park, but mm-hmm. fuck, go to the Bronx. You know that that park up there. I don't care where you go in L.A. Get get to some. You know you. Right. It's um. Shit, right up at Angeles Crash Forest. Take mm-hmm. the two all the way up. Mm-hmm. All the way up and get out there and see so that every direction you look, you see what God did. Right. It's part of, part of, a, it's part of nature therapy. So the forest bathing, it says this is a healing way of the Shinrin Yoku forest therapy. Um, know, and it means taking in the forest atmosphere. Um, and it was developed in Japan during the 1980s and has become a cornerstone of preventative health care and healing wow. in Japanese medicine. Wow. Now, now, there wow. you go. And in Japan, that shit is a must. I bet you. Certain parts right. of right. Japan is so city. Mm-hmm. Tokyo, some, you, man. You, could, you can get like that, especially, you know, mm-hmm. even if, you know, you, you live in the suburbs. Hey, still, you're seeing houses everywhere. Right. Right. You're seeing still just, right. yeah, you see just get to some spot where you don't see nothing right. that man did. So, Look, yeah. so you can realize just how fucking silly man is. It says for We've done some spectacular shit on this planet, but the most spectacular shit that we've done can't compare to the slightest oh. shit that God's done Not to this planet and what he does. It's, and you need to see that for yourself. It says, um, for example, many trees give give off organic compounds that support our natural killer cells that are part of our immune uh, immune system in fighting cancer. So it's just mm. being around the trees will will boost that, Man, and then for reduce real. blood pressure, reduce stress, improve mood, increase energy level. Um, a lot of positive um, benefits from just like you said, surrounding yourself with nature. Man. Yes, I remember, boy. Uh-oh. Yo, let me tell you. Uh oh, uh, we've got something. <clears throat> it's a fucked up story, but Uh-oh. it's a story. Hey, nigga, I'm, this 
you don't got to worry about me catching no bullshit or nothing throughout my life. Because when I was a young kid in the Army, that's when I caught the clap. Oh. For the, uh, the, the, yeah. One time, I caught it. Oh. Shit hit me. What was that like? Like, how did you know you had tell you, it was morning. It was PT. We woke up, went running. Laugh, 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 running, and running. All of that shit. All of that shit. Go back. Get ready to take a shower. You get to taking your clothes off to get, get in the shower. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. My motherfucking drawers are stuck to my dick. What the fuck? Oh. And you look like, oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? And hold on. This is not right. Shit is leaking. Uh, Shit is, what the fuck oh. is this? Like, wow, this is crazy. So I went to the fucking medic. I was like, hey, check this out, homeboy. <laughs> What's wrong? What's like wrong? He's like, yeah, what's wrong? wrong? So, yo, uh, this morning, <laughs> I came back from the run, you know, and um, some shit going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like, what? Some shit coming out of my thing. Some shit ain't right. This is crazy looking shit. There's pus coming out your dick. <laughs> Oh, man, you got a fucking urinary tract infection. Could be from anything, man. You could have, I don't know, could be from anything. Urinary tract infection, okay. All right, it's urinary tract infection. <laughs> cool, so what, what next? We got to send you to the hospital. It's like, hospital? says, yeah, you're going to have to check you out. So I was like, all right, cool, let's go. So this is, this is in Berlin. Go from fucking McNair Concern to the Berlin Brigade Hospital. I go in there. Yeah, oh. I saw this fucking sergeant, this E5. I was a fucking PFC, a private first class. I was young. I was like 18 and 19 or something. And there was this sergeant. I was like, oh, that's that fine ass sergeant. Santiago. Uh-oh. I didn't know her name was Santiago until I saw her on the stand. I was like, Santiago. <laughs> I seen this chick at the club a few times. I've been wearing, oh, she's a sergeant? Oh, I don't give a fuck. And it said, it said, um, admission. So I was like, God damn. You're in a tracking face. She's going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it. It's medical. She's a medic, obviously. So I went up there. I put it there. I said, she says, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Got the fucking clap, huh? <laughs> I said, the what? <laughs> Have a seat over there. Have a seat over there, private. <laughs> private, bitch. <laughs> she went down have a seat over there, private. It's like it's she a said it like, right, like you filthy motherfucker, <laughs> dirty dick, fat. F- sit over there, private. <laughs> then this dude, then they call me. They said, farmer. I'm like, damn, I gotta go in there. I try to look. She didn't even fucking look at me. Like, fuck out of here, bum. That's over. That'll never happen. <laughs> Ever. Never happen. Fuck her. I'm married, bitch. Happily, I won. But anyway, <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> I go in this fucking office, <laughs> and it's this little white man with the beard, white beard, glasses, thick ass, thick, like some real fucking Coke bottle glass. Like if you set this nigga's glasses on a picnic table, some shit's catching on fire. Oh, wow. Okay. The sun is hitting them shits, some napkins, whatever it is, I don't know, it's magnifying glasses. That kind of shit. He sits, he's, he's just some, he looks at me, he says, well, <laughs> oh, you must be private farmer. <laughs> I'm like, he says, hey, I'm Dr. Swarovski. Um, it seems that uh, we are uh, here for a uh, urinary tract infection. <laughs> I'm like, yes. He says, okay, okay, well, here's, here's a dish. It's a petri dish, and I'm going to leave your room, and I'll meet you to milk your penis into the dish. <laughs> like, what? I think I'm really- You're going to milk your penis into the dish. <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> this is, yeah, you know what I mean. Milk it into the dish. I'll be back. Get the milking. Man. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting there. I got to give him a sample. I'll milk the penis into the dish. <laughs> this shit is sickening. This is like, oh, man, oh something's God. wrong. <laughs> But I'm in a hospital. It's for hospital okay, safe. Okay. Fuck yeah. I was like, God damn funny. Oh, what the hell's wrong with me? Choke the shit out of my penis and put it in a dish. Here, Doc, look at it, please. 
that motherfucker step back me. in. He says, all right, I'll be back. <laughs> this motherfucker came back. I'm waiting in his office and shit. I'm like, this motherfucker is British. This is American motherfucking hospital, god damn it. Oh. How is this working out? But I'm in Germany, in Berlin. This shit is crazy. He comes back. He says, wow, private former. You do have a urinary tract infection. I was like, oh, he says, cause, boy, the garlic coke syndrome. The, the what? what? The garlic coke syndrome. <laughs> Gonorrhea. Oh. Oh, so now there's the clap. <laughs> and then the motherfucker went like this, the clap. <laughs> and I was like, <clears throat> it's like, really? <laughs> I thought a motherfucking Mr. Hat, health and driver's ed, kind of real. You don't ever want to catch this. It's going to cause a very, I was like, I got that, but I don't have no pain. He says, well, we've caught it early, thank goodness. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to take this this tablet. You can say, no, he says, you're going to take this, have this prescription filled, do as it says, and wait for your silver bullets. I said, my silver so, bullets. He says, that's right. Two shots of penicillin in your arse. Oh. Arse. He arse. said, in your arse. I, was, I didn't know what an arse was. Yeah, it was, was like, what the mm-hmm. fuck is an arse? I thought it was some kind of right. next to my spleen or <laughs> some shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, You're a doctor. What the fuck is an arse? <laughs> he says, that's that British shit again. Right, right. Nigga say in your ass. I didn't know. Yeah. Right. So I was like, fuck. So I go down there, and what do you know? It's another motherfucker from my company, uh-huh. Johnny. Damn, he's a talker, I bet. He's there. He's a goofball. And he's from Detroit. Oh. He was from Detroit. Johnny from Detroit. Okay. Light skin nigga was, you know, the motherfucking uh, nigga thought he just, nigga had the uh, Cap Calloway shit. Right, okay. Johnny, yeah, man. Yeah. I got all the bitches. Johnny. You got all the bitches. I'm from the D. I'm from the door. I'm from Motown, baby. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of goofy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 man. I'm getting all the bitches. Yeah. I remember Johnny was that nigga. Uh-huh. And he was like, oh, man, you, you got the motherfucking shit, man. You got the pop. You got the oh, Yeah, you got it, Papa. You got it. I was like, yeah, bitch. Yeah. You got it, too, nigga. He says, he says that's right. That's right. They know me down here. I got, I got, I got. I was like, all right. Then, so I went and filled my prescription, right? So he was in the waiting room. I was in the waiting room. I looked. They gave me a prescription. It just said, "Take one now." <laughs> Take one hurry, now. Hurry. Right? I open that shit. There's one pill in. Oh. One pill. Uh, I'm like, you motherfuckers could have just gave me. Give me a pill, right? Sorry. But I took the pill. Oh, uh-huh. and, it, and then it, then I went and sat in it, and, it, and it, I think it said, "Take one now." And then have a seat. Some <laughs> shit like that. I took it. I popped it. I had a seat. I'm sitting there. Then a counselor calls me up. She says, yes. Uh-oh. Paul Farmer? I'm like, yeah. She says, yes, come with me. She says, so, now we have to do an investigation. She said, do any of these names look familiar to you? Oh, these are all the people. These are all the hot bitches, bitches in oh. Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm looking at this fucking Seb- Sabrina, <laughs> you know, Wundkrausen, fucking Heidi, Wiedendorf, and then Brown, number three, <laughs> Marina Gutal. <laughs> This bitch looked like Harpo Marx. That's the worst part about it. Yeah. It was one of those last one in the club. To yeah, it. it was one of those. It was one of those. When we the got lights came up. Field. You know, you're in the field. You're in the field 45 days. Yeah, you ready. Around motherfucking hard legs. Around motherfucking uh, niggas, dudes. Right. Strapping, fighting. Bagging on niggas. Rapping. Getting drunk. Staying up. Doing... Nah, man, you take it, you come out of the woods for 45 days. You turn in all this equipment. Shit has to be cleaned. Everything's got to be tip top. You get an inspection, boom, you're done. You hit the shower, bow, you go to the club. Well, this one, we had a kiss ass sergeant. There was one. We're going to make devilish sure, Captain, like you. So we were stuck. We had to do another inspection. My whole platoon, so we late. 
We get to the club. Oh, Aw, Slim Pickers. Everybody's taking it. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. Like, what I got? What I got? What I got? What I got? This bitch is. Just, said, oh. This bitch steps, steps and says, Oh, you have some pretty eyes. <laughs> this bitch looks like Harpo Mark. I never saw Harpo Marks talk. I never saw Harpo Marks talk. Harpo Marks. Harpo Marks might have been a woman, we don't know. <laughs> Motherfucker never talked. He had a horn. Right. Right? Uh, right. And a Marx brother. Harpo Marx, a bitch looked like Harpo. And I was like, yeah, you know what, bitch? I'm in the woods. 45. I've been motherfucking uh, uh, forest bathing like a motherfucker. No motherfucking buildings. Just forest. Deep German forest. Just lots of forest. And the black forest in Mittenwald, Germany. Yeah, we are going to learn cross country skiing. Oh, yeah, wohl. <laughs> Wunderbar. Oh, my God. Guten Morgen. All of that. So I, had a, I was like, fuck it. Harpo Marx, bitch. Guess it's what? You. I looked at her. <laughs> guess what, bitch? <laughs> I'm going to show you what pillars is made for the night, young lady. <laughs> Yo, I went to, I did, oh man. That's a day. Mind you, this was the first, first, uh, never mind. Okay. Look, <laughs> I'm 19, I do it. I'm killing it. Yeah, yeah, woo. Wow. Yeah. Stay down, stay down. Look, 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 look. <laughs> he says stay down, stay down. Look at the wall. How long, how right, long boy, after the encounter? Everything. So no, so I looked on the fucking little, I remember laying down on the bed, I looked on the wall. What? <laughs> 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 this fat nigga. <laughs> Bitch of this fat nigga. <laughs> With Texas Longhorn shirt on. <laughs> and underneath his fancy shirt. And bottle caps. And Fanta. And Fanta bottle caps. It's spelled Willie. <laughs> Willie. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I was like, yo. It's your man Willie, huh? <laughs> She said, don't look at Willie's picture. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, man. Don't look, don't at, look at Willie's picture. And she put her hand over it. <laughs> I remember Willie's fat ass short pants sticking out from her head. Bullshit ass motherfucker. Oh. Air Force One's. This is when Air Force said Air Force on the team. It's 1985. Oh, whatever. Right. Willie and bottle caps, Phantom bottle caps. And I was like, damn, I felt bad for Willie. Like, shoot, Willie. Yeah. Damn, Willie. I bet you Willie don't see Harpo Marks. Oh, <laughs> I'm good, though. And so I was like, done. I was like, yeah, wait. Well, She's like, maybe you should give me a number. I said, yeah, maybe you should worry about Willie. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, she, right. I'm good. Right. Thank you. Gotta go to the field. Oh, How long God. was it after so, that happened that you that was it? That was like on a Saturday. Now here it was, it was a four-day weekend. Uh -huh. We got in the field. No, that was Friday, but it was Saturday early morning. Okay. So boom, here I am. This was that Monday back. That, wow. That Tuesday back. Tuesday, okay. So, so Sunday, that's some Monday. days. That's, yeah. So, and there was her name, Marina Goodtalk. And <laughs> oh, I remember it because it was on her fucking door, on the inside of the door, Marina Goodtalk. So I was like, what are you now? Harpo Marks set my shit aflame. Yes, she did. Oh, fucking oh, Willie had the last laugh. <laughs> That's right, nigga. <laughs> I gave a dose of it and I went back to Texas. <laughs> and I told her you don't do nothing but ride with it. And they don't want to get you. They going to get burnt, baby. Yeah. Right. Okay, Willie. Willie. <laughs> well, there you go. So look, though. So I go back down now. So they said, okay, now you got to go see a film. So I, they oh. identified who it was. So she had uh, apparently built, burnt quite a few. Apparently. She was yeah. on that list on the wall. All right. I thought she was a jump off. I was a jump off. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Right. I was, you know, hey, whatever. Great. But now I'm burnt. 
Wow, now I took one pill. What's next? Go down, you watch a film, and then you get the silver bullets. Everyone keeps talking to silver bullets. Only oh, silver bullets, huh? Okay. You watch the film. The yeah. doctors, the film says, listen, motherfucker, you're going to get a shot of penicillin. It's cold penicillin. It's going to feel like ice cold bullets hitting you in the head. <laughs> this penicillin is going to change your condition and you'll be fine. And it says, now, this is only going to work a couple of times. And then the doctor said, stop the film. He said, now, Johnny, <laughs> Whoa. this is the stage you are at. <laughs> Don't come back here. This is your third time here, and I don't know. Uh -oh. He says, you develop scar tissue in your urethra. Each time you catch a venereal disease oh. such as gonorrhea, from the healing process, you keloid. You will close. Your urethra will close. Oh. Do the scar tissue, and then we will have to do a cone scrape. Oh, this and he pulled out this cone. Oh. And the, he says, you'll notice the edge is a razor. It goes in and it will scrape. It'll... And Johnny said, I got to do that. I got to do that now. He said, you may have to do that today. We oh. don't know your condition. This is the third time you've been here. And he's like, oh. He started squirming and shit. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh my god. I'm like, yo, man, this is my first time. I've never, never had no shit. I've never had no crabs. None of that shit, man. He says, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Pally, you got it. And he just, bow, hit me with the shot. He left the room, bent over, pow. What? Was it real cold? Ice cold. Like, Pow, <laughs> 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 hit the other, just right on the cheek, like uh, on the cheek of the, the, the hip. Yeah. It's really your upper hip. It's like, bow, mm -hmm. bow. And he's, I'm like, so what now? He says, well, <laughs> that's going to kill it all. <laughs> you, you're good, buddy. But yeah. uh, it's going to be a healing period. And during this period, you can't drink milk. You can't drink alcohol. Don't drink no orange juice. Yeah. It's heavy in acid. Mm. Everything, bro. You're going to want to fucking drink water, really. Just water. I was like, okay, whatever. Because I still... Had not had no pain. So right, it was like, right, whatever. Right. Maybe I didn't get the pain. <laughs> whatever. That's enough. Yo, that <laughs> first trip to the restroom after all of that. Oh. Shit, that shit was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. stop, stop in mid pissage. Oh. Like, <laughs> like, no more pissage. <laughs> I'm not going to piss. <laughs> I can't, I'm just, I don't know what to do. I'm not pissing. I'm certainly not going to continue this piss. Mind you, I'm pulling on a pipe. This pipe's coming out the wall. I'm like, no. No more pissing. I'm done. I'm going to have to sweat piss because I'm not pissing piss. Man. And there is no stuff. You're going to piss. It's like. Oh, my God. Yo, it was like every time. So I go to my room, back to my room. My roommate, Calhoun, this thing. Did you find out what was happening? It's like, oh, uh, yeah, you're in a check fight, you know. <laughs> hey, nigga, that bitch, that Harpo Marx looking bitch. He said, me, 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 she wasn't a little nice gal. Oh. That bitch is f f f fire. <laughs> for real. Yeah, man. Burnt, homie. Oh, how long did it take for it? So then? we was we was motherfucking. It was like two, three days. Now here comes the get back. Uh oh. They dropped me off. We we got an alert. I was out. I was pissing like every time I pissed for like the next three days. This is going on. Oh. I'm talking the ultimate pain. I'm tippy toeing to the bathroom, <laughs> anticipate the pain. Why? Why I got to piss? Why? <laughs> oh, oh, please don't. Yo, I'm in the bathroom. Motherfuckers is coming in, looking at me like <laughs> they're like, "Oh, you got burned." Oh. 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 I'm like, "Nigga, fuck you." <laughs> This could be you, nigga. This is Berlin. This is Germany. These bitches are filthy. Right. Man, listen. You motherfuckers was like um, an alert. Five in the morning. 
Mm-hmm. This is the fourth day. He mm-hmm. said it's going to last like a week. An alert, five something in the morning, full alert, like load up, nigga. We gone. We out. Mm-hmm. What? We're out? No, 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 nigga. I got a situation. <laughs> you and your situation, then we moving out. Right. Boom. We go to this section of, of uh, we go through the fucking corridor, which means Berlin is around the wall. Mm-hmm. There's a hundred mile road on the, on the highway mm-hmm. that takes you to West Germany. Mm-hmm. We go there on an alert, mm-hmm. right? What, should we cut? No, 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 keep going. Okay. And um, so, check. Mm-hmm. We go way out, mm-hmm. like in the woods, and it's nothing but woods. Mm-hmm. And my unit, they said, okay, everybody drop off uh, LPOP, lookout point, observation point person. Mm-hmm. That means you're going to be there alone, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alone, everybody else is going to be like 10 miles down the road. Mm-hmm. You are here alone. It was me, a radio, me, and a motherfucking carton of some bullshit ass Paul Mall cigarette. Oh, <laughs> because my fucking combo chief, he just happened to have an extra carton. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Paul Mall, mm-hmm. what the fuck? And I was there and I laid in the goddamn snow. And I was in nothing but nature. Ooh. Nature in the snow. Uh-huh. Brick. Ice cold brick in the snow. Soldiering alone. Radio a hooch. Nobody around for 10 miles. In the mountains of motherfucking West Germany. Wow. And after being there for about a day, I remember at the end of that day, I was like, oh shit, here goes this motherfucking piss. Yeah. Here it goes, and there ain't no pipes to grab. Like, it is not a danger, baby. So I go, I grab this tree's branch, and I was like, <gasps> It didn't hurt. No pain. Oh. What? And I remember the snow <laughs> and the little birds. <laughs> and I was pissing like, Yeah! <laughs> Stream like yes, baby, yes, nature. So being with go. nature, that, look at that, that shit sped the shit up. Worked it out. Sped it up, be faithful. Okay, so we gotta wrap it up. Wrap All right, up. thank you everybody for being hey, here. Hey, thank y'all. That's very personal. I'll let you know that, but hey, yes, that was when that I was, was nineteen. A... I'm fifty three. Nigga, what? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's an Listen open up, book. kids. He's an open book. And All I'm right. not the only one either, motherfucker. Yeah, right. Right. So like, sub- like subscribe, up. spread the word, share the show, and um, you know help us have get us week. numbers up. Send your sentences in. Have a great week. Turn the rapper show. We appreciate you. Don't yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, one love. No, that's but that's interesting how it all worked its way back around the forest bathing. Like you are in the forest, forest. you were fine, then you came out, you got gonorrhea, it was, it was and just went back in. Just one of those in. things. Hey, forest bathing, I can testify to that shit. Yeah, that shit cleared up the worst of clap cases. That's crazy. Those branches was like, you don't have to. You could hang on. You're not gonna break me. <laughs> it's Mother Nature. Just let it go. Man. Man, she was on the she was on the board though. Look at the names. It's like Number three. (laughs) So that means that she's been up there for a while. She she burnt a lot of (laughs) cats. Right. Her name is like a like a bingo. Ricochet. Ting 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 ting. Oh yeah. (laughs) You you took down a whole squad. That is crazy. That's crazy. Really? Ain't that picture? (laughs) That's crazy. Very good, very good. Only. You said Fanta Caps. What is his name? Fanta Caps. Fanta Caps. That's a that's a member. That's right. Fanta. 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 Fanta.
That's hilarious. 